Hey y'all, I wanted to come on and give you a little bit of encouragement today. I know that life can be very, very unpredictable. I know that it's very easy to, you know, listen to the news, listen to the media, and really struggle with hope and, you know, question your future and question, you know, what's going to be. And, and I get that. I'm in the same boat that everybody else is in. But can I just encourage you that, for one, God has promised in Jeremiah 29, 11 to give us a hope and a future. So our hope and our future is already, like, it's already given. It's already promised to us. Not only that, He has promised to walk through every step of the unknowns with us in our life. And so I just really want to encourage you. I know it's very easy to feel hopeless, to look around and be like, oh my goodness gracious, like I had all these plans for 2020, I had all these dreams, I had all these hopes, I thought that things were going to go a lot different and they're not. Ashley Dawn, what in the world, what is going on? You know, and it would be easy to, to be depressed and it would be easy to just struggle with hope and struggle with believing that God hasn't forgotten about you. But I just want to encourage you that God hasn't forgotten about you, that those dreams and, and those goals that you set for yourself for this year, they were not in, in vain. They were not for nothing. God is still there. He's still going to help you accomplish all of those dreams. He's still going to help you accomplish all of your goals, right? Yes, for the past two weeks, life has been a little crazy. Actually, the past kind of month-ish has been crazy for, you know, us where we live and in my circle of friends. And But it's only been a month. It's only been two weeks. It's always, it's only been a little bit, right? If we look at the grand scheme, you know, I look at my life. I'm 33 years old. I can see 33 awesome years of God's faithfulness. Now, were there some hard times mixed in there? Yeah. Were there some times that I, you know, maybe wasn't for sure what the future would look like? Of course. Are there times right now where I'm like, hmm, I'm not a million percent sure what my future is going to look like? For sure. But here's the deal. It all comes down to, do you trust God? As believers, do you trust God? Do you trust that he is who he says he is? Do you trust that you are who he says you are? Do you trust that he loves you? Do you trust that he has your best interests in mind? Do you trust that he will he will protect you? Do you trust that he will provide for you? Do you trust? One of my uh, most difficult seasons in my life, God spoke so sweetly to my heart. Um, and he said, Ashley Dawn, do you trust me? And I kind of questioned it for a second. I'm like, what do you mean, God? Of course I trust you. I, you know, I love you. I serve you. And he's like, no, do you trust me? Do you trust me with the hard stuff? Do you trust me with the things you can't control? Do you trust me? And it really took me a long time to get to the point, just being honest, to where I could say, yes, God, I trust you. Yes, God, I trust you with all of the unknowns, with all of the scary things that I walk through on a daily basis. Yes, I trust you. So I want to ask you today, if you're a believer, if you're not a believer, that's fine too. You know, obviously I'm not going to force my beliefs on you, but you are watching this video. So you know, obviously how I feel. Do you trust God? Do you trust God when the media is kind of crazy? Do you trust God when your relationship status isn't, you know, ideal? Do you trust God when your financial status isn't what you, you know, want? Do you trust God when your job status isn't what you want? What about your health? Do you trust God when your, your health isn't, you know, where you want it to be? Do we trust God when things get hard or we do we just trust Him when they're easy? I know that for me, the hard times in my life, a lot of times, bring me closer to God, and they remind me of God's goodness and God's faithfulness. The harder times, they cause me to pray more. So maybe look at your hard circumstance, your, your tough time, your difficult season, and instead of looking at it as a burden or a hindrance, start looking at it as a blessing. 
It's a reason to, to focus on God. It's a reason to look at God. It's a reason to pray more. It's a reason to trust more. It's a reason to say, you know what, God, I'm not you. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm trusting that you hold my future. And I'm trusting that you will work all things out for my good and for your glory. Even in the confusion, even in me not understanding, I trust you. That I can hope, that I can dream, that I can believe, that I can trust, that you're going to do something awesome with my life. And even if it doesn't necessarily look the way that I want it to right now, I'm still going to choose to trust you. I'm going to trust you in the unknowns. I'm going to trust you in the knowns. I am just going to rely on you and, and see what happens. I want to encourage you. Don't give up hope. Don't do it. Always, always, always have hope and trust in God. That's my best advice that I can give you. And I know that some of you may be watching this saying, that's a lot easier said than done, you know. I have this mountain in front of me. I have this thing that I'm going through. Could it be that maybe, just maybe, the mountain in your life that you're currently going through, not only is it for you to see God's faithfulness in your life and for you to see God's goodness in your life, but maybe it's for the people around you. Maybe God has assigned you a mountain so that not only can he help you move it, but so that all the people in your life can see his faithfulness. They can watch you move your mountain and it can give them courage and hope to move theirs. I've walked through a lot of things and I don't think half of them were necessarily just for me. I think a lot of them were for the people in my life so that they could see God's faithfulness, so that they could see God's goodness, so that they could know that if God's going to be with me, he's going to be with them so that they can see my faith in action and it would encourage them to put their faith in action. I've watched women go through hard things and it's encouraged me. One of uh, my friends, her name's Darla, she is doing CrossFit and I watch her all the time lifting these heavy weights and doing these exercises and I'm inspired and encouraged and I'm like, dang man, look at her go. I think you know, there was a time where I'm like, I definitely couldn't do that. But the more I see her do it, I'm like, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could like that. Maybe, maybe I'd be good at that, right? Why do I think that? Because I see her overcoming obstacles. I see her overcoming things that, you know, are hard. And I see her accomplishing her dreams and her goals. Is there something on my shirt? I feel like there's something on my shirt. Um... But I see her accomplishing her goals, and that inspires me. Now, have I necessarily picked up, you know, big weights or done some of the high-intensity workouts that she does? No, but I'm not against it, you know? If there was an opportunity for me to do it, I might do it. And the more that I watch her do it, the more that I get encouraged and inspired to be like, hey, girl, you could do that too. You know, maybe it would be really, really hard at first, but the more you did it, the easier it would get or the stronger you would get and you'd be more able to lift those heavy weights. You'd be more able to, to do the hard things that you don't think you can do right now. So maybe you're a Darla in somebody's life. Maybe you are encouraging someone or inspiring someone to do hard things. Maybe you are showing them that the obstacles in front of them aren't so big. Maybe that your life is showing other people that mountains are moved every day, that God is still working, that miracles happen every day, and maybe your life is just the proof that somebody else needs to see God working so that they believe and so that they trust in God too. Your life is on purpose. God has given you a purpose and your life is on purpose. Don't ever forget, God loves you and you are here for a reason. And that reason, man, if you knew how special you are, if you knew the plans and the purposes that God has for your life and how he's going to use your life to impact the world around you, it would amaze you. 
it would absolutely amaze you. God has big plans for your life, big ones. He loves you. I love you. I hope this encouraged you. I hope you know how loved you are. And I hope even if you got a journal and you started journaling every day, maybe one encouraging message to yourself every day, get a journal and just write down what I say to you and encourage yourself with that. But God is using your life. Whether you see it or you don't, he is using all of it. I promise you that. I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go get me a coffee while I'm still allowed to. Yes, I'm social distancing. Yes, I'm quarantined. I've been quarantined for two weeks. Um, I've been staying at home, making sure not to get infected, not to infect anybody else. I know the CDC has said, you know, um, pretend like you already have it and or not pretend, but think you already have it and then protect others from getting it or something to that extent, you know, care about people. And so I have been doing that and I have been um, making sure that I'm distancing and that I'm not exposing anybody to anything and that I myself am not being exposed to anything, um, you know, that I would bring home and hurt my mom or hurt anybody else. So, and I encourage you to do the same, but you are special and God has big, big, big plans for you. Your life is not an accident. Your life is a miracle that God has purposed to bring healing, to bring love, to bring joy, to bring light and positivity and power and courage to all the people around you. Your life matters. I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. I hope you know how special you are. If you don't, I'm going to keep reminding you until you get tired of hearing it. I love y'all. Bye.